it in chat. I've been seeing it in chat all day. Everyone is so excited. Uh, our next guest is part of Black Matter, the developer behind Hell Let Loose, the much anticipated 100 player World War II first person shooter. Let's go ahead and take a look at the exclusive launch trailer. Woo! Welcome to the show, Max Ria, founder and lead developer at Black Matter. Max, thanks so much for being on the show with us. Oh, thanks for having me, guys. Really appreciate it. Yeah, chat yeah, so, is so I, hyped. Yes. I, for, for people uh, who may not be as familiar with Hell Let Loose, I know a lot of our chat right now is not only super familiar, but dissecting what we just saw. But for people who might be new to Hell Let Loose, what would kind of be the you know quick elevator pitch for people how would you introduce it to them i think this is really uh the game that puts you as one of the extras in all the war movies that you've seen um you're not the hero you're not uh the tom hanks character in saving private ryan although you might be after like several hours of play um, but initially you're the guy in the background actually um who, who sort of takes the first bullet so um our game is about huge scale um, hardcore realism, teamwork, um, and communication between um, different people in order to sort of um, take victory and, and win against the opposing force. That's that's really great. I know that, you know, Trisha and I heard that, you know, you were a 100% remote team. So can you sort of tell us about what the process was from start to finish, especially with the team being 100% remote? Sure thing. Um, it's been an enormous challenge, obviously. I mean, pre-COVID, uh, you would have thought, well, when we used to say sort of, we've never met each other in real life, people would kind of roll their eyes and say, oh, well, you're not really a studio, you're not really a business, you're not really kind of anything. Um, and obviously, post-COVID, it's been a much easier conversation to have. Um, sort of everyone gets it now. Um, but there have definitely been huge challenges, just making sure everyone's on the same time zone for meetings, making sure... Um, you know, uh, we can communicate uh, fluidly, um, but at the same time, there have been huge strengths in, in so much as um, once we learned how to communicate, I think our efficiency is is really high, and um, we certainly survived the the COVID transition in working. Um, I think uh, we didn't even survive it; it just was it, it wasn't even a blip on the radar for us. Uh, Max, I have to ask you, I got a, a chance to play test this game a little bit and uh, I was streaming my play test and this game is hard. Like this is not a traditional first person <laughs> shooter. Um, so can you kind of run chat through what your thinking was with that? Like how you feel the skill set is different and why? 
Sure thing. Yeah, I mean, look, Hell at Loose, we sort of make no bones about it. It is one of, if not the hardest first-person shooter you'll play. I think games like Escape from Tarkov um, are slightly similar, but in a different way, but sort of same level of difficulty. Um, yeah, Hell at Loose is a very difficult game. There's no kill feed. Um, you don't really get any feedback that you've actually killed someone. Um, and with Hell Let Loose, a lot of the gameplay loop isn't just shooting, you know, people, targets, and, and sort of using Twitch reflex. Um, although that is a big component of it in a first-person shooter, um, a lot of the skill in Hell Let Loose as you sort of develop as a player is really around conversations about the metagame. Um, we have um, a whole ton of stuff in there. There's vehicles that you need to crew with, uh, with, with other people and communicate. Um, there are sort of uh, the commander plays an almost real-time strategy game with the, the 49 other people on his team. He'll be directing them around, calling in supply drops, calling in strafing runs. And so when you first get in the game, it's extremely overwhelming. You're presented with everything all at once. Um, and what we tend to find is players will slowly get the hang of it and they'll slowly kind of be able to assess danger more easily. But uh, yeah, I have to say the first sort of you know, even five, six, seven, maybe even a couple, first couple of days in our game is it's a really tough time. Um, but we find that once you get past that, um, then there's, there's something that's resonated with our community. So we're, we're very fortunate with that. Great. We also, we have a question coming directly from chat. So Spark K Master asked, when are you planning for mobile mortars and mortar squads to be added? And he said, cheers <laughs> as well. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. That's a great question. Um, I think it'll be coming in the next 12 months. Slash, we're just trying to figure out right now, um, after we release, after we leave early access, um, we want to be sort of uh, sensitive to sort of the feedback that comes in. Um, we've got a whole bunch of content, but, but definitely sort of player place mortars um, is a big part of sort of the World War II combat experience, and, and we're really excited to, to bring them in. So next six to 12 months. Awesome. Um, I have a question here from Johnny Gunner 41 in chat. It says, Max, how do you guys go about researching the historical context for Hell Let Loose? Um, so we spend huge amounts of time actually reading a lot of, uh, I mean, not only history books, but also um, veterans accounts. Um, we know that the community is extremely passionate about us getting this right. Uh, and we similarly feel very passionate about getting it right. So it is a mixture of sort of um, uh, reading sort of primary sources or veterans accounts, um, and then obviously consuming huge amounts of literature about it. And also talking to, to um, avid reenactors and people who are really interested in the topics, you know. Uh, we'll often go to, you know, the Imperial War Museum or to different locations to talk to people. Um, and so it's always, you know, we always try our best. Sometimes we don't get it right. Um, but we're, we're always trying to do, um, you know, the, the utmost. That's, that's really great. I, I started building on this question because I am a big history fan myself. And, and, you know, going into the game, were you already sort of like a World War II history buff? Or, you know, was that something that built up over time? And what was the most, you know, startling sort of thing that you discovered? Maybe something that you didn't know about the era before you started developing the game? Sure, both are fantastic questions. I mean, I think the um, uh, first one, I, I was a huge history buff. It was something that was sort of given to me by my dad. Um, you know, it was a shared passion and it was something that we spoke about a lot. Um, and obviously, you know, when I was growing up in the 90s and the noughties, there were lots, there was lots of World War II media, a lot of historical films being made, less so now, I think, but, um, but back then there was a, a huge amount of it and I really engaged with that. Obviously, the first Call of Duty um, was a World War II game and I, I, I fondly remember that experience. Um, and in terms of sort of surprising statistics, I think possibly um, the most surprising is that if you look at all of the frontline troops and uh, the, the troops are actually had a gun in their hands and were, um, and were purpose was shooting at the enemy. Um, there are stats that say that only about 2% of them ever fired their gun, you know, with the intent to, to kill um, the enemy. Um, yeah, so that, I thought that was really fascinating. Um, wow, wow, oh my gosh. Um, it's so, I, I think I, what so many people love about How Let Loose is that historical accuracy. So thank you for bringing that. Um, I do see a lot of people in chat President Beluga and others asking about the Panzer IV that we see in the trailers, uh, when that will be something we get to see in game. 
That will be... Look, we were trying to get it into update 10, um, and uh, for anyone who's played it um, in, the, in the kind of testing environment, you'll know there is a lot of content there, and we had a very kind of... The big conversation um, before we sort of locked the content about whether or not we could get it in, and we thought it's so close to being done, but I think just to make sure this this release was as safe as possible, as smooth as possible, we would we would hold it, um, and so you can expect to see it in either the first or second release straight after after this one, so imminently. Great, awesome. and so then the Panzer I think, fans. yeah, yeah, the Panzer <laughs> fans sound like they'll be happy there. We have an, I have another question uh, from Logistics GS. So, will we get a, a balance in full release to have more rifles again versus full auto weapons for all classes? The, the short answer to this is yes. Um, we really wanted to make sure that every uh, role in the game, uh, every class in the game, had uh, multiple loadouts to use. Um, and so, uh, what we'll be doing is probably replacing some of the weapons in those loadouts. Um, taking out the SMG or the the um, automatic weapon that they've got, and then bringing in something kind of new, um, and we hope interesting and different to something that you've seen before. So lots of different weapons in World War II. We're thinking um, the trench gun. We're thinking there are, there are kind of lots of different gadgets and explosives and things like that. So really the world is our oyster now. We've kind of set up the system that we need during our early access period, and now we're just going to broaden it out. But yes, uh, I know this is a big sticking point in our community. We will be dialing down some of the automatic presence on some of the other roles, and we'll be, we'll be introducing more variety. Awesome. Well, thank you so much for sharing this bit of insight into Hell Let Loose, which the PC release date is coming right up. It's on the 27th of July on Steam. Congratulations. And I know uh, launching on consoles later this year, correct? Yeah, that's correct. Thanks very much. It's been a huge accomplishment for the whole team. And um, yeah, we, we, we'll be bringing uh, the game to consoles, next-gen next, next gen consoles, I should say, or uh, uh, in... Uh, I can't actually say too much, but, but later this year, definitely. <laughs> later this year, we got it. All right, Max, <laughs> if people want to find you online and follow more updates about Hell Let Loose, where can they do that? I'm I'm terrible. I'm a Neanderthal and don't have my own social media. But um, look, the Hell Let Loose Twitter account um, is is probably the best bet. Um, or join our Discord. We've got a Reddit. Um, we've got we've got many channels. We're, we're represented on every social media network. Um, so that we think that's the best place. Okay, perfect. And for those of you who don't already follow Hell Let Loose on Twitter, I believe it's at Hell underscore Let underscore Loose. So uh, definitely sure. definitely check that out. And again. Max, thank you so much for being here today. This thank has been you. awesome, and I hope you have a fantastic you rest of your day. Thanks, thank Max. Thank you, you too. Cheers. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Cheers.